if I'm looking into identifying the implied domain here of y equals the square root of 2 minus x. So what we kind of looked at in, in from our investigation, that I know that at least under the radical, if something's going to be defined, it has to be greater than or equal to 0, right? Yes? So when we're looking for, looking for our applied domain, whenever we have a radical, whenever we have a radical, we are going to set the radicand, that is what's under the, under the radical, greater than or equal to 0. Okay, because that's going to tell us all the values that are going to be defined for our function. So in this case, I will set 2 minus x greater than or equal to 0. That's really it. Now, we can solve. We can do this a couple different ways. We could add x to both sides. And we'd have 2 greater than or equal to x. We could also do inverse operations. But if you're going to follow inverse operations, meaning subtracting the 2, just remember what happens when you multiply or divide by a negative symbol with when solving inequalities. You've got to flip the sign, right? And the reason why is that's going to make our inequalities now true. These are exactly the same. Wouldn't you guys agree? 2 is greater than or equal to x. x is less than or equal to 2. So sometimes you could just flip this you know, to make it make more sense for you. Now, is that a domain? Like, Is that fine? It's an inequality, right? But if we want to write this in set in interval notation, we need to be able to figure out how to write this in interval notation. So one of the things that's been helpful is to use inequalities. If you're kind of like a little bit struggling with this, I would recommend going from here to drawing the inequality. You know, here's 2. OK. And then saying, all right, the interval for that is going to be negative infinity to 2 where since it's included, it's going to be a bracket. Do you have to write the inequality? No. Is it extra time? Yeah. So if you can get away with not having to do that, the better you're going to be off. However, I understand that many of you, like this is review, like, or you know, it's been a while. So use this. Or if you get stuck, like anytime I'm doing a problem and I'm like, hmm, this is kind of confusing, I'll revert back to this, right? So just maybe use it as like a toolkit for you, you know, if something's not making sense. OK? Any questions on that one? All right.